the correct representation of graphs for different elements are given here for applied frequency versus kinetic energy of photoelectrons for these different elements now choose the one which is properly representing it okay so we can solve this question using photoelectric effect right now so let us look into this concept clearly see we have a metal surface so when we incident a suitable amount of energy on this metal surface the ejection of photoelectrons takes place from this metal surface right now so now this uh, applied energy will be utilized for two processes one is for work function to eject the electron and the remaining energy will be taken by that photo electron which converts into its kinetic energy right now so now this energy i can write it as h nu and the work function is also energy i am writing it as h nu naught plus k so i just wanted to make it in a graphical format so that frequency equals to h nu naught by ke by h by just by dividing uh, planck's constant on both sides we'll get this so convert into it into this format like y equals to mx plus c format right now we got this format now what is our y here so on y axis i can say frequency applied frequency and x axis i'm taking kinetic energy okay so look at here this is our uh, slope and this is our intercept right now so intercept is what here threshold frequency what do we mean by threshold frequency the minimum frequency required to eject the electron so which element will require minimum frequency the one which having lower ionization energy easily gives its electron no? it means it require lesser energy i can say lesser frequency right now so for these elements so down the group alkali metals are uh, having lower ionization energy no? so this is the ionization order it means cesium require lower energy to excite the electron or to give the electron so therefore threshold frequency of cesium is less when compared with the rubidium and potassium therefore the threshold frequency the one which is having this lower gap this is the frequency gap now okay so they have mentioned something like this right now so lower gap for which one lower frequency for cesium so it means the bottom line is for cesium and above one is this is for rubidium and the top line is for potassium this is how you need to draw the graph i hope it is clear see the gap represents what the insert intercept represents what the threshold frequency required for each of the element hope it is clear so based on this explanation now identify which graph is perfect one so first answer will be your correct option hope it is clear for more such content just subscribe our channel thank you